Hi, I'm Matt Shadetech. I'm a DJ and producer based in Brooklyn, New York. I'm also the senior logic instructor for DubSpot and for DubSpot Online. What we're going to be learning today is a technique to manipulate and repitch and process samples, in this case vocal samples, using Logic 9's EXS24 sampler and pitch correction plugin. The track that you're listening to right now is called This Is Love, and it's, it's an example of this technique, and this track is available on iTunes on the New York Tropical compilation from my label, Duddy Arts. Here's a little example project that I've created. And what I'm gonna use is one of the Apple loops, one of the pre, pre-created pieces of music that comes with Logic, which you can access over here from the loops tab of the media browser. This one is under the vocal category and it's called Bailey Melody. And it sounds like this. Oh, oh, oh. And so what I've done is I've taken my scissor tool and I've just sliced out each note so that now I've got five regions uh, with each note that she's singing plus one of silence, which I can actually just go ahead and delete. Um, So the next step is now that I've got the notes isolated is I'm just going to highlight them, right click and go down to convert, convert to new sampler track. And since I slice this the way I want it into different regions, I'm going to use the region settings. You can also try using the transient marker setting. It'll probably give you a pretty similar result. I tend to use regions because I feel like it gives me a little more control uh, and I can slice it where I want to manually. I'm going to call this Bailey Chop and hit OK. So now what it's done is it's created a new software instrument track with an instance of the EXS24 sampler and it's created some MIDI data to to replay that loop. Oh, 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 oh. So that's just replaying the loop now as MIDI playing out of the sampler. So if I go ahead and double click on the EXS24, I can see the panel for the sampler. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here where it says edit and hit that. That's going to open up the EXS24 instrument editor, which is going to allow me to edit the sampler instrument that we've created based on this audio. And so you can see down here it's mapped each note to the bottom five notes of my keyboard. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take these and take the top four drag them up to C1, to C negative one, and just space them out across five octaves. Now, what's important when you do this is, if you'll notice, oh. that one's correct, but now these have become very, very high pitched, and that's because they the, the samples are still pitched as if they were starting in this bottom octave. So if we go up here to where it says pitch, we can change this. Now what I'm gonna do, let's start with the bottom one. Um, I'm gonna stretch this out. Oh, 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 oh. Right, so now we can pitch the sample and play it on our keyboard. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually oh, set the, oh. the root pitch to F so that instead of just being able to pitch it up, now oh. F is gonna be the, the natural sample. Oh, 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 oh. So now I can pitch the sample up or down with F being the original version. And so I'm just gonna take all these, select them all, stretch them out, and then just do the same thing. So it's gonna be F, F negative one, F zero, F one, F two. And so now, So now I've got my sample spread out across the keyboard and I'm just gonna save this. I'm gonna save it as Bailey spread, save, close that. And so now we can start to play some patterns with this. So I pre-created a few little patterns uh, and I'll just grab them from up here so that you can hear them. So I've got this one. Ah. So it's just doing a, a simple single note on the one there. And I'm actually going to 
do new track with duplicate setting uh, to make another copy of that sampler. And then I'll pull down this other piece of uh, MIDI that I created earlier. And we can listen to that and let's hear those two together. <laughs> So there's a little melody I played by repitching a couple of those uh, a couple of those slices. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of pitch correction because as you can hear, as it gets repitched, the note, the voice gets a little stretched and a little detuned. So if we go to pitch, pitch correction stereo, double click on it. So this is Logic's pitch correction plugin. This is very similar to Auto Tune the plugin made by Antares. And what this does is it listens to the note coming in and then takes it and pitch bends it into the scale that you specify. So I wrote a little beat which was in G sharp minor for this exercise. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose that here. So I'm gonna to go to my scale and choose natural minor. And then I'm gonna choose G sharp as the root key. Finally, I'm going to take the response time over here, which is how quickly the note gets bent into that scale, and I'm going to turn it all the way down so it's zero, so that's going to have the maximum effect. So it's going to be pitch bending the uh, sample very quickly. Uh, and then I can go ahead and close this. And so now if we listen, and let's just go ahead and we'll do new track with duplicate setting again to duplicate that uh, pitch correction. I'll move this one up here. Don't need to do that twice. And then let's listen. So you can hear it's kind of got a tighter pitched sound. And I like the way that kind of cleans up the pitching. So I'll just play you really quickly. Here's an example beat that I made using these samples. So I added a little bit of delay to this first one. Got these on two different tracks, and this one has a little bit of reverb. Okay, so now you can hear I, I've got another layer. Here's another instance, and this one is tuned down. And now a fourth layer with a little more intense modulation on it. All right, so let's take a look at how we created those additional modulations. Let's look first at this track here. I'm going to open up the EXS. And so the first thing I did was took this tune knob here and tuned it down negative seven, right? So if we listen, here's how it originally sounded. And then I just took that and pitched it down. And notice that doesn't affect the relationship to the map. That actually just takes all of those notes and just tunes them down uh, by whatever you specify. And then I'm using some glide here uh, to glide between the notes. So if we listen, so you can hear those notes are bending into each other. And I just use that to create a little variation from the first piece. Um, and then the pitch correction is what's keeping that in key. So if we listen without the pitch correction, so we can hear that's getting a little dissonant. We add the pitch correction back in. So that just kind of, it keeps the bends, but it quantizes them to our G sharp minor scale. 
And then for the next section over here, we've got, I added a little tape delay. Um, and if we open up the EXS24, what I'm doing is over here in the modulation section, I'm modulating the pitch using LFO2, which is down here. And I'm doing it by 244 cents, right? So if we listen to this without the pitch correction, turn off all the effects. So we can hear it's getting, the note is getting bent by the LFO. I'm using a square wave LFO. So it gives me a clean transition from note to note. And then just put the pitch correction on. And that's just kind of cleaning that up a little bit. So those are a couple of ways to create some different, uh, you know, variations on your sampled vocals to manipulate them a little bit more and process them a little bit more. Hopefully you found this helpful. You can learn more techniques like this in our online logic course from DubSpot Online, which is created and taught by me, Matt Shade Tech. And be sure to subscribe to our channel here on YouTube to get new tutorials as we release them. And thanks very much for watching. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.